Hi guys, my name is Nastya and today I'm offering you a sequence where I'll be alternating some stretching and some strengthening asanas. I like to do it in the morning to energize my body and to stretch a little bit after my night's sleep and get ready for the day. And the first asana in the sequence is going to be some cat cows. So place your hands under you. Shoulders, your knees under you. Thighs, inhale and open your chest. Lift your tailbone up, exhale, round your spine. Two more like this. Or actually, it will be more than two. This movement is great for connecting breath to your movement. It's great for warming up our vertebrae column, our all, all of the major joints that will be active throughout the practice today. And it's a nice stretch for the low back. Take as many as you need, and then when you're ready, we'll move towards a bit of a strength building. So extend your legs behind you and find a plank. This is already a pretty powerful core building asana. If you feel too shaky, you can always lower down the knees. If you're with me here, lift your right leg up and lower. And alternate lifting, lifting right and, le and left legs up. Feel all the posterior chain of your body working here. Your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, your back. One more here. And then the exhale, lower through Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Sanasana. For a bit of a break and a stretch, remember to keep your hands about shoulder width apart, fingers are spread out, and elbows are looking outside, tailbone is the highest point in your body right now. Find stillness here. Inhale, rock yourself forward. And this time, lift your right leg up, front plank. And then try to lift your left hand up as well. Maybe just in the fingertips. Or maybe lift it off the ground. This is a much more difficult strength building posture. So if you're like me, you'll be shaking like crazy. <laughs> but remember, shaking is good. You're building strength. On the exhale, come down, all the way down to Cobra, Bhujangasana, or halfway down and upward facing dog. And then push yourself back up. Tailbone goes back and up to a downward facing dog one more time. Inhale, rock yourself forward. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left and on, on the left side. So <clears throat> lift your left leg up and then come to the Fingertips on the right side, maybe lift up the right hand, hold, and lower. Alright, core. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. At any moment you feel you need a rest, open your knees wide and lower down 
poor child's pose. Remember, it is always available to you. And then when you're ready, return to a downward facing dog for some more strength. Inhale, right leg goes up, and exhale, right knee touches right elbow. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, right knee touches left elbow. Inhale up, exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale up, exhale, right knee to left up, core is on fire. Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, step your foot lightly between your hands and find your low lunge and jinyasana. And relax. Feel your left hip flexor stretching here. If you need more, bring a bit of a back bend here, but don't just dump into the joints. Still maintain strong legs here. And on the exhale, lower down. Then lift your left knee up. Find your high lunge and from here twist to the right. Inhale up and exhale, twist to the right. Coming back to strengthening. Here the legs are strong, they're scissoring together, the inner thighs are working to keep us <coughs> to keep our foundation strong, and our core is working to twist us. Just two more here. Last twist to the right. Return to center and lower your hands down. Find your blocks if you have them. And we'll move between the low lunge, the runner's lunge, and the Hanumanasana, Ardha Hanumanasana half split. You may have noticed that I love this stretch. <laughs> they use it a lot almost in every sequence. But for me, it's just a great way to open up my hamstrings. That's why I like to use it a lot in my sequences. Next time you're back, stay. Remember to keep your spine nice and long. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, lower down a little more. But don't compromise the length of the spine over the depth of your stretch. Inhale, come back. And step back to a downward facing dog, rest in dog just for a few breath cycles or choose to rest in the child's pose, listen to your body, listen to its needs. When you're ready, lift the left leg up and on the exhale, bring your left elbow and your left knee to the left elbow. Inhale and up. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, up. Exhale, left knee to the, to the right elbow. Inhale, left leg goes up. And exhale, find your low lunge. On the inhale, sweep your arms up, and on the exhale, relax into this hip flexor stretch.
Remember, promise you is going to be alternating strength and stretch, strength and stretch. Whew. Remember about that slight back bend if you need more of the stretch, but without flaring the legs open. Keep them still hugging into each other. And on the exhale, lower it down, pick up your right knee. And on the inhale, find your high lunge, scissor your inner thighs together. And exhale and twist to the left. Belly strong. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Five repetitions, just like we did on the other side. Last one. And slowly with control, lower your right knee down, lower your hands down, find your blocks. And again, find your Ardha Hanumanasana half split. Prepare your body, move dynamically back and forth a few times, and then when you feel your hamstring is ready, then stay and work on deepening the stretch. Remember about the length of your spine. And try to keep both hips parallel to the short edge of the mat, because the hips tend to kind of get out of their alignment here. Pay attention to that. Left foot is flexed, which also helps the stretch and protects the knee. And on the next inhale, come forward, remove the blocks, and step back to your downward facing dog. Again, feel free to rest here, lower down for a child's pose. This is your chance to get a bit of a rest. The next Bit is going to be quite intense. Just warning you. <laughs> Inhale, right leg goes up. And exhale, step the right foot between your hands and find your high lunge. And we'll move a couple of times between high lunge and warrior three. So to do that, <clears throat> slowly start shifting your weight forward through a thunderbolt pose. Then lift your left leg off the floor and straighten your right knee. One more time, bend your right knee, lower down, inhale, high lunge, and exhale. You can also leave the hands forward, but the bookcase is right in front of me, so I can't really do that. But you can if you have space. And one last time, inhale up, and exhale through Thunderbolt, slowly lift your left leg, and then straighten the knee. Stay here, or release your hands down, work with your half splits, which doesn't look like a half split in my case, but I'm working on it. <laughs> And exhale the leg, left leg, left foot to right foot, Uttanasana. Feel free to grab opposite elbows. Just hang here for a second. Give your lower back a bit of a break. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Uttvahastasana. Exhale. Tadasana. Catch your breath. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. Just after we move 
Surya Namaskar A sound salutation A just as a transition inhale half lift exhale step back and lower down inhale your back bend exhale Adho Mukha Svanasana downward facing dog inhale left leg goes up and exhale step lightly between hands find your high lunge on the inhale I'm just going to shift a little bit back so that I have a little more space here inhale high lunge and exhale start shifting your weight to the left side lift your right leg off the floor hands arms can stay here or you can move them alongside your body if it's easier inhale high lunge exhale warrior three that's pretty tough because you have to juggle here the balancing core strength quad strength what's going on in this transition so do it slowly first thunderbolt then start shifting the weight then start lifting the leg and only then straighten the knee. I feel it's easier on my low back if I, have, if I hold my hands here, my arms alongside the body. And exhale, lower the hands down. Again, find your half split just for a second. And on the exhale, relax into your malasana, actually. To the last set here, so your toes go out and just sit in this yoga squat. If it's too much for you, you can also sit on the blocks, build yourself a throne. If it's too hard on your knees, otherwise, with your elbows, you're kind of pushing the knees away, opening into our outer thighs a little bit. Lower your hands down. Step your feet together. And on the inhale, bend your knees and rise up for a Utkatasana, chair pose. Tailbone is tucked here. So it doesn't have to be a very deep chair pose to be a quad strengthening exercise. Oops, my neighbors decided to do some construction work. <laughs> Move through our Katasana all the way down into your Navasana. Feel free to keep your knees bent here, or you can move between low boat and high boat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm working a lot on strengthening my lower abdominal muscles which tend to be weaker in women and I think also after childbirth it's hard to get them back in shape so this exercise is quite difficult for me and actually when you round the spine here it is more for your lower abdominal muscles and when you straighten the spine up here then it is more for your Hip flexor strength. You can also, if it's available to you, grab your toes, your big toes with your fist fingers, and then try to stretch the legs out, which is also a lot about balance, not necessarily only strength. You can open the legs wide as well, play with that, if you feel comfortable, and then slowly lower your heels down, 
and will be a last bit of strengthening here. <clears throat> Inhale and lift your tailbone for a reverse tabletop. Can be pretty strong on the shoulders, so make sure that the wrists are under your shoulders and your elbows are looking back. Exhale and lower the dasana. In Dandasana, the quads are working and your heels are lifted off the floor. And then one more time, inhale, find your reverse tabletop. Or maybe even reverse plank. This is even more intense on the posterior chain. Oh, they're shaking your lower. If you're like me, you're shaking too. But remember, shaking means feeling the strength. And that's a good exercise for the posterior chain muscles, your back muscles, your hamstring strength. We were stretching them today, now we're strengthening a little bit. <sighs> Give you a light little shake. And for the last beat, the last beat here, Cross your left foot over your right knee. Inhale, right arm goes up. And exhale, twist to the left. We're doing this twist to neutralize our spine. center, release your back, bring your right knee up, step it over your left knee, right arm goes back, inhale, your left arm up, and exhale, twist to the right, Adha Matyantrasana on the other side. I feel like with the sun in the window, I'm making this exercise, this practice, like a hot yoga practice for me. <laughs> Maybe you can do it too if you have a sunny room in your house. Come back to center, release your leg, give it a little shake, and then find your straight spine and slowly Move your hands towards your heels for your Paschimottanasana. Forward fold, seated forward fold. Again, remember about the length of the spine. Aim your belly to thighs, not too much your forehead to your knees. Inhale and lengthen, and exhale and deepen your stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly lower down all the way to the floor to finish this practice in Shavasana. Or you can also finish it off with a seated meditation. Whatever you choose to do, it's your practice and it's your decision, but please don't skip on this step because it is the most important in the yoga practice after all this is why we exercise our physical body to get some peace and some calm in our mind so i welcome you to to do this into meditation or a relaxed shavasana meditation right now and i thank you for practicing with me today namaste